part two this is the breakdown got the tires off shocks dismounted and then I took the original spring coils that's the ones on the outside I pulled those out and the ones in the center are the foreign stock coils I'm putting in and the shock extenders and the bolts right there will go into place <laughs> like so back up here a little bit <laughs> so realistically where this is driving at you want to bring the rear of the vehicle up in the air and then you want to get a jack underneath the differential once you pull your tires off, which makes it easier access for everything, uh, you take the bottom bolts out. Uh, mine, I believe, was a uh, what the hell size bolt did I? Uh, I'll look on just a second, but I know the other side was a 13 16 The other side was equivalent to it. And you take the bolt out, uh, which is that bolt right there, on both sides. And once you get both shocks down. Uh, well taken loose from each side that you will lower the jack for the rear end to come down uh, I did not pull um, the sway bar off I left that attached because I didn't have to come that far down and it would just be a little bit faster for me to put everything back in <coughs> the coil will sit in there and to this spot right there so once you get it all set in then you're going to jack it up into place and at the same time I will put the new shock extenders on in which I will then bring these down and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all mounted back up but this is just to give you an idea you don't exactly need a 45 ton wrecker to <laughs> jack the ass end up, but if you got one, hey, why not? But if you got a few jacks or got some got a weight that you can get the ass end off the ground to take the tires off, this is basically what you need to do. The higher, the better. It gives you easier access. But again, for low budget people, I know it's hard, but if you got a few friends in low places that can give you a hand and do a little something together, of course, it's cold out here, so it took me a little bit to uh, get my tires off with my impact. I mean, the truck was cold as hell. I really didn't give enough time for it to warm up, but... Uh, two bolts, drop it down, pull the coils out. This wasn't even five minutes. Five minutes to do that. Look at my homeboys right there. <laughs> Yeah, he fixed the forward and come see what I'm doing. So, well, this is part two of the rear, and I will show again as it's uh, going together.